hi and welcome to the channel so i am back with a snow globe that you can live in i was um i saw that the new sparked challenge category had been posted and i think that the idea is uh what was i reading about it i'm trying to remember now it was a scene from a snow globe or any kind of globe but a globe that had been shaken and what that would be for your sim so I was streaming and decided to see if I could actually build a snow globe that your sim could live in and I had to work out how to make it bigger on a round platform and as you can see what I did was I didn't complete the wall sections I moved the last piece in so it kind of tricked it into thinking it was a complete room. So it does fully enclose, but I had to do a bit of trickery in the process of doing it. And everybody was a help. They were a real help with it because we were puzzling it out together in chat. And this is what we came up with. And you could put anything in them. It doesn't have to be a snow globe. It can be, um, you could put a pyramid in and have sand coming down. You could do anything you like. You could have a Paris scene, any sort of scene, and pop it in the snow globe. And you're welcome to use the idea. Please do. I'm not entering Sparked. I haven't entered any of them. But I just wanted to see if I could do it. Because I thought, how cute if I could. <laughs> and I can. And the platform makes it actually look like a real globe. Because you can put like a wooden base on it. And it's really cute. Uh, to get the right roofing, I just typed in white into search to get the one that looks like it's got a dusting of snow on it. With the flooring on the interior, I had to um, puzzle out how to get rid of those corners and I hid, hid it mostly under uh, kitchen counters and the bed and things like that. But it changes throughout, so I've kept the video brief but I do change through the design throughout. You'll see it change quite a few times. Trying to get the base, so I use the white carpet here to make it try and make it look like we had snow on it. Wasn't happy because it kept going on in the inside and I didn't want it on the inside, so I had to puzzle out how to do it. I used the snow from um, the snowy, what was it, snowy what? I forgot what the new pack's called, but I use the snow from that. And I start dressing it. So here we are doing the white carpet. And then I try to figure out how to hide this on the interior, but we get around to it. So I'm trying to make it like a really Christmassy scene. Like, you know, the holidays and everything. And the little cabin in the snow. It kind of looks like a little gingerbread house, which is really, really sweet. But, um, as I said, you can make them into anything you want. You can pop anything in there. And the way to make the house bigger is to not complete the wall sections. Just have the one piece that you need on the exterior and then pull it out. You have to have a round base for the roof to work to actually cover it like a proper globe. So make sure that your base is round. And this is the biggest that the base can go to stay round or else you can't get a glass roof on the top. Unfortunately, you have to um, teleport up onto the platform because there's no other way. And I posted a picture on Reddit and somebody suggested that I build a tunnel up in, into it. I nearly did, but I was like, how would I do that? I couldn't figure it out. Maybe I'll try on the stream. Maybe I'll try on Twitch next time I'm live. Try and figure out a usable tunnel. But I really, do, I really do like the idea of it. It's really sweet and she can live in there. It ends up being, we've got the bedroom, kitchen, lounge, and bathroom with shower and toilet. I use the new Pax kitchen. It just seemed to suit the cabin a bit better, but I changed this around. I wasn't quite happy with the size of it. So I change it all around. It's really hot here today and I've had to turn my fan off to do the audio. I think it's like 32 Celsius. So you're going to hear me a bit breathless and I'm melting. I'm literally melting. And I've got all the doors and windows open so you might hear a load of birds chirping. 
But hey, nature, nature's always pretty. Nature's always pretty. Here I am trying to hide that corner piece. I do it in the end. What I do is you'll see, I put a wall across and I actually enclose the bedroom, but it means I have to alter the shape and everything again. But you can see here, you can see, do I do it yet? I can't remember, I'm trying to remember trying to remember what I do here oh I was trying this to cover up the but it just didn't look right it looked really silly so I decided not to go with that oh and the doors have to be raised up because they sink down into the platform and just make sure that you raise them to the right height to what you're going to end up with yeah so there you are you can see that I just added in that one wall section just placed it and that's how you end up you can make a bigger house in a snow globe so I'm trying to get everything I can in. Everything that your sim will need to live in a snow globe. And it works out. I was going to go with a small fridge, but I was like, no, they need a bigger fridge. So that's how we ended up doing it. They have a tiny little workspace, but they can still cook. It's all usable. But it was fun. I have been really enjoying when I stream. I like to work out how to do things. So that's been a lot of fun, working that out. As I use things, I change the layout a lot. You'll notice it's never, because I don't ever start with a plan. What I do is, it's just, it evolves. That's how I kind of do it. The reason that I'm not using tall or the red shelf was I wanted to show that this can be done for the Sparks Challenge. And you're not allowed to use, builders aren't allowed to use uh, the red shelf or tall so you can see that it can all be done without without them it's a shame because I love tall I'm gonna say it again if you don't use tall you really should because it's amazing it's absolutely amazing and also I use Twisted Mexi's Better Build By so that means I can search for debug and live edit really easily and also it has the expansion which is fantastic so here I am just cluttering it up. I didn't go too heavy on the clutter because are you really going to make your sim go live in a snow globe? I am because it's fun, <laughs> but I was wondering how many people actually would. I changed my mind so many times. I was like, do I have that? Nope, don't like it. And I end up going with the snowy escape. That was it, wasn't it? Snowy escape. Oh, I tried this, but look, you can see here at the bottom, you can see the foundation pop through and I couldn't get rid of it. But I left it in to show you that you can't actually put a beam in. I was like, what? What is that? So gave up on it and yeah. And here I couldn't quite work out what to put there. I wanted to use that, but it's so large. And then it was something underneath it. I do end up using Nifty Knitting because it just suited that little cottage in a snow globe feel. Because I tried to keep it cute but usable and I think I achieved it. Here with the fireplace, uh, to stop it looking so modern, I use the log from Debug in um, Outdoor Adventure and I raise it up with a nine key and I do two rows and that hides the stones and it looks more rustic. So it's a trick that I've always done. It's a lot easier with tall. I just do it with tall and then just raise it all up. So I sort of like build it outside of the fire and then just move it into place with tall. But I wanted to show that you can do all of this but just by using your nine key. So here it is, this is me using the nine key. And um, here I was like, which rug? I didn't know which rug. I love the that one, but it just, I don't know. I wish it came in more colours, I really do. I really, really, really do. I had to change the setup of that. Oh, I, and I couldn't decide on the doors. You'll see the doors change throughout. I ended up going with just plain brown ones, which I think are seasons. I tried those ones, but I didn't like them in the end. They were too dark. But yeah, it's a cute little, usable room and here I couldn't work out the toilet I didn't know which toilet I was trying to cover that up that just looks silly 
and I went with um, Get Famous. I used the Get Famous pack and it's the Grape from a Ship. That's what I did and I sized it down and used that. Then I couldn't decide on a toilet. I went with a different one, but I ended up using this one because it's more cabiny. Now I go with the really wooden one. I change it back out later, of course, because, you know, typical me, just keep changing everything. <laughs> Right, so from here, I am trying to get this. It's the in the main room. It was lots of moving everything around because I wanted it to look as cute as I could get it, uh, whilst looking like a cabin and not too cluttered. But because, like in real life, I don't have clutter. I'm a bit of a neat freak, and as I keep saying, I don't think that shocks anybody. I'm quite, you know. I yeah I don't I'm not a not very cluttery sort of person. I love the rings that we have from the, the tapestry rings from Nifty Knitting, so I decided to use that. Here I am on the outside, and I was using the um, trees and rocks and snow from Snowy. Is it Escape? Is it Snowy Escape? I can't remember. I can't remember the name of it. I think it is. I keep forgetting. Sorry. And I absolutely love the pack. I did an amazing uh, modern build with it, which I really enjoyed, but I didn't speed speed build it. Here, I was trying to cut out to use this tree to cut it out so I could sink the tree down. It didn't quite work that way, but hey, you do what you do. So I don't end up using it because it sits through the roof. I keep testing the roof, the dome, because I want to see how it's working. I want to see how the dome works and the tree, no matter what I tried, it just wasn't going to work, so I get rid of it. But it looks good without it in the end. I think it does. <laughs> I think it does. I'm just hoping that this, because I've had to redo the audio. So I am outside doing the decor and trying to make it look as much like it's in a snow globe. I, I just like, how many times have I said snow globe during this video? Quite a few times, haven't I? And I've had to redo my audio a couple of times. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough, but that's because my mouth's dry. <clears throat> and the room's really hot, and yeah. So I was using the things from Snowy Escape. I think that is the correct name. I keep forgetting. I'm gonna make sure I remember next time. And just trying to make it look as cute as possible and sweet so I end up using a lot of the holiday decorations and lights outside and it's you know, a little bit fiddly but fun but a very fun build these are from seasons and I love them and it's that time of year isn't it it is that time of year I change him out the little snowman I change him for the reindeer from the seasons pack because I think they are adorable and so cute. And then I put more snow in to try and make it look natural. And I have been play testing it throughout to make sure that she can actually walk through the door when she gets onto the platform. Again, please remember you have to teleport onto the platform because I couldn't add stairs because it's it wouldn't work <laughs> because there's a roof in the way. <clears throat> And then in here, I was trying to see if they'd look any good, but no, they wouldn't. So I decided against it. And I used the light from Strangeville. I love that light. It's perfect for cabins. And it works really well. Oh, and here's where I changed the toilet out. Remember I kept saying I was, I, I went back with my original choice. And I kept the bedroom really simple. I could have probably cluttered it some more, but I chose not to. Was I being lazy? Possibly, because I rebuilt this to film it, because um, the one I built on stream last night was a little bit smaller, I think. And then I posted some pictures and people were like, how? So I decided to do a speed build and show you how. <laughs> it's really, they're really simple. It's a really simple way of doing it. You see how cute this looks when you do that. So I just go through and I'm just making sure everything looks right. I should have put some snow globes in there. I didn't even think of that. Oh, I haven't posted it to the gallery yet. So I will pop some snow globes in the house itself. 
Right, so the snowflakes are wall decals and they look great if you just place them. You just got to work out how high you want them to go. That's why I had the roof there so I could see where I was going with them. And I put them at the front and the back of the house. I did have some on the sides, but it didn't look right. And then I added a ton of lighting so that at night you get this beautiful floodlit effect. And I always build with my sim on lot. Does anybody else? I always do, so I can play test as I go. It just saves me a lot of hassle about moving a sim in and everything like that. And just when you think that you have enough items, you need more. I always think that. And then I use uh, MCC to change the weather so I can get some snow on the ground. You've got to be careful just so it doesn't cover the dome. And then I'm popping all the trees in just to get the effect I was after. And it looks really, really sweet. You've just got to be careful and do it really quickly and freeze it just the right time so it doesn't cover the dome, the roof, in snow. So you get the snow on the ground and on the trees, but not all over the roof, or else you can't see the build. <laughs> Okay, we are coming up to the end of the build. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me here. You can ask me on Twitter. I am Pug Owned S over on Twitter. Or you can come and watch me build on stream. You can come watch me on my Twitch. Okay, you stay safe, stay loved, and I will be back soon with something else. There's some pictures coming up of the interior. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it helpful. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.